Hey peeps, Jess here and welcome to another street food video here in Seattle. Today is the last night market. Yeah, I said night market. We don't have a true night market like Richmond or Vancouver. Instead, we have pop-ups. It's the last one because I forgot to watch the calendar. Still, today is Polynesian themed. There's a lot of stuff that's not Polynesian themed. Of course, before I dive in, I've got to ask you awesome peeps hit those like and subscribe buttons so I can keep bringing you all the street food goodness. We were going to attempt to have actual plans, but then I saw that Susu is here. We're getting rolled ice cream. So first we have Susu rolled ice cream. Yes, rolled ice cream still exists in Seattle. This is their pucker up, which has tempura fried shiso leaf or oba, along with a lemon ice cream and lemon curd and these super dainty little bits of flour on top. I mean, how cute is this? I've been told that you can just crack the tempura that's gonna shatter. So we need to give this a shot. One, two, three. Okay. I'm kind of working, it's kind of happening. There we go. Now we have shattered bits. It looks kind of like I broke up a salad. Let's try some. I'll try a bit of everything. We got the lemon curd, the tempura leaf, the tempura flakes. Ooh. So it kind of hits you in stages. First you have the lemon curd brightness. Then you get actually the tempura flakes for just a neutral crispy flavor and then Finally, you get the light lemon end with a little bit of shiso. The shiso, if you haven't tasted it, it's in the same family, I think, as mint and basil. So it kind of has that same herby note, but it's really not intense. If you're thinking about getting a lemon dessert, it's got a lot of lemon flavor, but it's more like a lemon cream than a lemon tart. Honestly, my only real request for it would be more lemon curd, but that's possibly because I'm a huge lemon curd fan and always want my lemon curd. One more thing to consider, this is super cold. It just came off the machine. So be ready for that cold headache and enjoy. Next, we have Kismet with Turkish Delight. You actually got these by the rope. They were kind enough to chop a few pieces off for me and they were $15 for two ropes. I'm excited to try them. If you haven't had Turkish Delight before, well, I've never had proper Turkish Delight before. It is a gel kind of in the same family as pate de foie, like a dense gummy. We've got the rose and we've got the pomegranate and kiwi, I believe. But just look at how beautiful this is. It's full of almonds and it's studded with rose petals. I mean, just covered in them. It doesn't normally have the powdered sugar on it. That's from the other guy, but let's try it. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. For someone with a jaw injury like me, this is really hard to eat. It's even more dense than I was expecting. And the flavor though is very mild, like a very mild rose note with a soft chew from the almonds. If you like rose water desserts, you're gonna love this. I will say if I ever buy this again, I'm gonna chop into pieces about half the size of this, just so it doesn't hurt my jaw or my teeth. But it is a really neat thing to try. I think let's try the kiwi next. So, so here's the kiwi, it's quite neon. It's got pistachios. Let's try this guy. This reminds me far more of the Americanized version of this, the applets and cutlets with that softer, slightly squishy chew. I do think I prefer the rose, but the light fruit flavor here is really fun too.
last, certainly not least, and the only Polynesian thing that I've eaten at the Polynesian themed night market. This is Mike's Shave Ice, which is actually proper shave ice. Dear goodness, they made lovely snow. And there's melting ice cream in here. This is their strawberry Lilikoi special, which normally has strawberries on top. But all you peeps who are used to this channel know that I can't eat fresh strawberries. Mmm, it's so fluffy. And the Lilikoi puree is super, the passion fruit puree is super fresh. Mmm. Tastes really good and exactly what I needed after all this freaking humidity. And there's a coconut milk on top, like coconut cream. A little bit of mochi. The mochi's okay. The shave ice is where it's at. If you haven't had the Hawaiian style shave ice before, it's not like the Chinese where it's more like a fluid sheet. I mean, it's really, really light and melts the tongue super fast. And it's not crunchy, it's just like eating snow. As you can see, ice cream's been melting in here. Get some ice cream. It's very sweet ice cream. I'm definitely just team get the strawberry. Because that's just, it hits the spot really well. So it doesn't help the ice cream that we went off camera to Sticky Sweets and Treats and went to Susu on camera. So it it's going against some pretty heavy hitters. Yeah, this is what I needed to end the night market. And that brings us to an end of this particular night market. The only way to really get more night markets is to ask South Lake Union Saturday markets for them. So definitely get on their Insta and say, please, more night market. I'm really glad I went only because I got to try two places I hadn't been before. The only place this time I'd even had before was Susu and getting to try Turkish Delight and a really lovely shave ice was a really lovely way to spend a Saturday evening. So I'm probably releasing this on a Tuesday. So I'm definitely getting that shave ice again because dear goodness, that was refreshing and Susu was really good and Turkish Delight where I go to my friends. So all in all, a good evening. So I'd love to hear from you now in those comments below. What would you like to try? Or did you go to the Saturday market? Did I miss you? I'd love to hear all about it. And with that, I will catch you next time. Cause I got some shave ice to eat. Laters. <laughs>